Hey guys, so the plan for this video is very simple. I was thinking I've uploaded four videos, all of them being the same thing. So why not switch it up a bit for a change? And instead of doing a gaming video, just scroll through the web. And I'm not just going to be looking at anything on the internet. We're going to be doing something very interesting in my opinion, and that is... I'm going to be looking at the worst Grubhub reviews that I can find. Now, me personally, I don't use Grubhub. I use DoorDash. I'm not 100% sure what the difference between the two of them is, but my experience with DoorDash isn't that bad. They've only messed up my order once, and it was with Subway. <laughs> and that's because, for some reason, Subway didn't have the meatballs that my dad wanted for his sub. I'm not 100% sure what the difference between Grubhub and DoorDash is, but I assume that they're the same thing. So I'm just going to try and get straight into this. I don't want to waste any more of your guys' time that I have to. I want to make this video as entertaining as possible, and I want to just jump straight into it. So I'm just going to look up Grubhub. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> there it is. So you can see... That's why it popped up, because I have clicked on this before. So I did look up Grubhub reviews earlier, because I wanted to make sure that I could actually do a video like this, and that I was able to find Grubhub reviews, and I clicked on this website to see if they were actual reviews of Grubhub, and they were. I didn't read any of them, I just clicked on it, and I'm like, oh, okay. And I'm just going to point this out right here. <laughs> I mean, let's give it a shot. Wow. Is, <laughs> is this my business? I own Grubhub. Uh, <laughs> great burger place. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why'd you post a picture of dog Die if you go get the burger bro <laughs> This isn't a happy meal This isn't an ordinary burger <laughs> Products used Burgers Oh my god that's not even that funny Okay. No! <laughs> Alright, let's see. When I see my delivery time kept going up, I called and cancelled my order. This was the absolute worst experience I have ever had with any <laughs> food delivery service. Alright. Absolute worst. Let's see why this is the absolute worst. Two screwed up orders in 24 hours. Wasn't really their fault, but they wanted me to pay delivery fee, tip, and additional charges to get my missing sandwich delivered. Don't every, don't every get food the second order. Oh, didn't every get food the second order. Okay, I assume that's supposed to say ever. After 90 minutes of waiting, the order was canceled, but they didn't even give us a full refund. I still end up paying them five dollars. Wow. <laughs> For nothing? Don't care how many promo codes they offer me, I'm done with them. Alright, let's see these critical reviews here. No stars not available? Ridiculously unreliable and overpriced. Often we'll just wait an hour or more and spontaneous cancel orders. We'll keep the money for several days and just not deliver any food. It can rack up delivery fees of 7 or $8 with no driver grid can rack up delivery fees of seven or eight dollars with no gr <laughs> with no driver gratuity. Customer service is a joke. It's a crappy call center that doesn't have native English speakers. What <laughs> makes DoorDash seem like Herman Miller in terms of service? <laughs> Who is Herman Miller? How to son-in-law. Is he the guy? Is he a guy? It's a furniture. It's a furniture company. Okay. 
All right, DoorDash, you are now considered a, uh, <laughs> a furniture company in my eyes. This one has two stars. I want to find, like, a really, really, like, bad one. If zero stars were possible, I have repeatedly had overwhelmingly awful experiences with Grubhub. The drivers pick up multiple orders at once, so my wait time becomes almost two hours long, my food is always cold and nasty, and the drivers are incredibly unprofessional. Their customer service operates off of one brain cell. I will only ever use DoorDash now. Hi. So is there a new driver? Can you cancel my order? It's probably old and gross now. Your agenda for today, right? What? I will proceed to the cancellation of your order? Oh, gee, oh Jesus Christ! This is your Grubhub driver, Marquise. I'm picking your order up now, but I have to drop off an order on post first. Please give the order to a different driver, thank you. You can cancel it, I'm not in control of that. Damn, he came right back! He's like, alright, you wanna... You wanna be like that? I'm gonna come right back. That's kinda your fault, buddy. Maybe you don't be an asshole. I don't really know if I'd consider that being an app, though. I mean, he did say please and thank you, but... I don't... <laughs> Dude, just wait for your food, you impatient fool! After two hours, no food, Grubhub sucks. I mean, it's KFC. Grubhub can go pound it, DoorDash for me from now on. Yeah, exactly, after two hours from not even a mile away with Grubhub. But with DoorDash, you can get the exact same thing, and it's like way cheaper and way quicker. At least from my personal experiences. Like, I'm able to order restaurants that aren't very close to me. If you order your food through Grubhub, you won't mind them eating some of your food? I'm sorry? Next time you receive your order, if you actually get it, look how it appears. If you notice any gaps between your fries or chicken wings, that was them snacking on your meals? The time I never got my meal, they tried to give me a 50% promo code. After 30 minutes of back and forth on the phone, I finally get a refund for the food I never got. These clowns are great at being terrible at their jobs. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Not fall for bull sheesh. They will rip you off. Don't order from here. They took about forty dollars off my card when I ordered, and they was dead wrong for that. I wouldn't recommend ordering from them ever again. These people are sick, filthy, and ratchet stealing liars that want to lie and say no, this never happened. My food costed twenty three dollars, then to check on my card it costed sixty dollars. I tried refunding it and they said they was going to refund me thirteen dollars. That right there just ruined my day. <laughs> Grubhub sucks. I think I'm just gonna do a couple more of these and then probably head over to the positive reviews because I want to see what people think about Grubhub on the positive side. All right, this one caught this one caught my eye with all the capitals. Don't waste your time with Grubhub. Drop the ball once again. They are awful and we are done. She just divorced Grubhub. I would give them negative stars if allowed. Second time to have to cancel by calling the toll-free number within the app. Help. Because even if it's been hours, it will not allow you to cancel. This is the worst company. The customer service reps are robots due to what I'm sure is thousands of calls per day to regurgitate the same old response. DoorDash is the way to go. Well, I think next video is probably going to be DoorDash reviews then because... Kind of like what I said at the beginning, I go with DoorDash because it's better in my opinion, but it looks like I'm not the only person who thinks DoorDash is better. My first Grubhub order. Whose fault? I place an order, no onions. However, a full sandwich, <laughs> a full sandwich covered in onions. No straws included for drinks, and the driver didn't even knock. <laughs> he just walked up, just fucking throws your food on. <laughs> this guy just fucking. <laughs> Oh my god, the delivery guy, just a random dude pulls in your driveway, throws like a bag of fucking food right on your fucking doorstep, and just leaves. <laughs> oh my god. Go get your own food, tips for consumers. 
What's the picture? Oh my god, that's not even that bad, dude. Just take them off. What a, look at the placement on that burger, though. Oh my god. Are you telling me? Wait, are you seriously telling me that you used Grubhub to order McDonald's? Do people actually do that? Do people actually use... Like, I highly doubt that's... That's all the time. Because, I mean, I live in the United States. And I assume that a majority of these people on here do as well. And I'm sure that a majority of my audience is from the United States. And if you're not, that's still pretty cool. I'm glad to know that I have viewers from different parts of the world. But here in the United States, there is a McDonald's every other block, it seems like. Like, I swear, I swear I see, like, 30 McDonald's. I can take, like, a two-hour trip and I'll see, like, 25 McDonald's on the way there. Like, maybe an hour, maybe even two hours, I'll see, like, 25 to 30 McDonald's on the way there. There are so many McDonald's in the United States, I swear. Like, there's no way. Why would you... There's no way this person lives far away from a McDonald's unless they live, like out on like the hillside or something because that makes sense then I can respect that but I can't imagine spending like I would assume this was probably like $20 because from what I've been reading like in between cuts you guys aren't seeing all of them but in between cuts all of these are saying the same thing where like they're just overpriced so I assume that like this Big Mac which is probably like five bucks in the area four or five maybe even six dollars depending on where you are I'm sure that a $6 meal, and it looks like they included, they got drinks as well, drinks, S, so like, just two drinks, I assume, and I, f I would assume this is a Big Mac, this looks like a Big Mac, I don't know, I've never actually had a Big Mac because I'm allergic to sesame seeds, and they have sesame seeds on them, so I've never actually gotten to eat a Big Mac, but I know what the box looks like, and that looks like a Big Mac box, so I cannot imagine that this person spent twenty dollars probably like fifteen or something like twelve to fifteen dollars for a Big Mac when they could just drive down the road I mean if it was like snowy or something or like the road conditions were bad why would you even order in the first place that just that just puts the driver <laughs> in like a bad scenario and also where did I see that there? Whose fault? I placed an order for no onions? Well, I mean... I guess it's McDonald's fault, yeah. No straws included for drinks, that's not even that big of a deal. You can, one, just take the top off the drink, and you can take the lid off the drink and just drink it that way. And two, you probably have straws laying around, lying around in your house. I know a bunch of people who, like, when they go to fast food places and they get extra straws, they'll just keep them. And I'm sure you got some extra straws laying around in a drawer somewhere in your kitchen. So I don't know why you're complaining this much. The driver didn't even knock. That's that's a problem. They should knock because then they can just leave your food sitting out there for hours because you don't know it's there. But that's kind of funny. But that is that is that is bad. All right. I think I'm going to switch over to the good reviews now. I want to see what the good reviews on the talk again. What is this? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Okay. <laughs> Alright, these are the positive reviews. Where do I find the positive reviews? These right here. These are what I want to see. Okay, the app is easy to use. Excellent customer service and food. I don't really see what 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 do you mean okay excellent customer service yeah you got lucky because you're pissed off because you lost 85 cents okay that's just stupid first of all second of all curly fries are better than regular fries in my opinion so I don't even know what you're upset about Three, you can't say excellent food because 
Of course you're gonna say excellent food because, I mean, you ordered from the restaurant. You can't say excellent food when you're talking about the delivery service. That has nothing to do with the delivery service. How good the food is has nothing to do with the delivery service. The person delivering your food from Grubhub did not make your fucking Ooh. burger. That makes no sense. Fast, friendly, and cheap delivery fees. Kinda hard to mess this up. After reading some of the reviews, I see people have complained about the food in this presentation. Takeout is not known to be beautifully plated. It's usually shoved in a box. That's another thing. They've also complained about the service. This person's job is to pick up the food from said restaurant and drive it to you. My suggestion is if you want five-star service, is to unearth yourself from the rock you've been hiding under since April and go get your food. Exactly. That's what I mean. If you live 10 minutes away from a McDonald's, just get up and either walk to the McDonald's or drive to the McDonald's. Go to the McDonald's. Don't just oh. fucking sit there and order food and spend three times the amount of money you should. You can get up and you can go to McDonald's. If it's 10 minutes away, you can go to McDonald's. What? Wait, updated review. This is four stars, but updated review worst customer service ever, and I don't be and I don't appreciate being lied to up. Updated review worst customer service ever, and I don't appreciate being lied to. Oh, updated. So to follow up, I had initially called their customer service to get this resolved before I posted my complaint. The CS rep had basically told me too bad. Oh my god. Finally, Grubhub did actually reach out to me as a result of my post. They have refunded me the price of the burger plus the extra 20 cents they charged me. Okay. They also said I could keep the $10 discount promo as well, so they did actually step up and correct the situation eventually. Okay, well that's fine. Oh. Why is this in Why is this here? I'm in the positive section of Grubhub. Why is this here? I have an ad blocker on. What is that that keeps popping up on my screen? Don't appreciate being lied to. Worst customer service ever. I ordered a burger from Red Robin via Grubhub. I had to pay extra to have an egg added to my burger and specified that it had to be cooked over hard, not runny. When I cut my burger in half, which I'd also requested in the restaurant, did not do. Oh, bull fuck. Too fucking bad, dude. You can cut your own damn burger. The runny egg oozed all over my burger, thereby making it inedible to me. Oh my god, you are such a put. So now let's add insult to injury. I called Grubhub to report this. I told, I was told I'd get a full refund and said I was sent a discount code for less than the value of the burger. Okay, that's bullshit. Yeah, I can imagine being pissed off about that. This meant that I would need to spend more money with Grubhub in order to get my refund. In addition, I received a follow-up email stating that they never, stating that they had also decided to charge me an extra 20 cents for special instructions. Oh my God, 20 cents, holy shit. Worst day of your life, huh? Wow, worst customer service ever. We'll never order from Grubhub or Red Robin again. Alright. Well, I mean, I only really see one thing. When I cut my burger in half, which I'd also requested and the restaurant did not do. Are you gonna Ooh. fucking piss your pants? I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna act as if I never saw... <laughs> this is it! This is what I read earlier! I'm gonna act as if I never saw that. Dumbass who can't judge time because of greed. If you know or can judge it that it will take longer than a damn hour, do not accept the effing order. God damn me, I could have drove up there drunk, stoned, and blindfolded <laughs> and had my food before any one of your delivery people. This is the fourth damn time this has happened, and the order would be correct with all of my food and $20 cheaper. Come on, you lazy shits. This is the third time it's taken longer than an hour and 20 minutes and never been corrected. So I am done. Why is this Why is this five stars? Tell me, what do you bring to the table as a goddamn company? Sorry, but this is being the fourth time I am done. Have this common cur- Have common curiosity- Have common curiosity and say, Hey, we are cheap and don't pay our employees probably, so expect a two to three hour delivery and can be wrong or half of the order you paid for. Like said, a $30 meal from Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A? <laughs> Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A costs us almost $55 without tip to get it right, to get it half right, and two hours later, it's bullshit. Yeah, that's one thing that I've noticed when I'm ordering food, is that it is all overpriced, but I mean, I guess it's 
I don't actually know why it'd be overpriced. I mean, I understand, like, shipping addresses, but, like, it's a completely different story. I remember ordering from Taco Bell one night, actually. I had a friend over, and my parents had their friends over as well, because they were throwing darts. And I just had a friend over to relax and have some company. And I remember we ordered Taco Bell, and I think we got a soft taco party pack, like the box, the soft taco box, which is the... Uh, dozen tacos, dozen soft tacos, because we had a bunch of people there, so we're like, oh, okay, well, might as well just get this. We, uh, we got that, I got two quesaritos, and then I think we had my sister over, and she also got two beef quesaritos. And normally, an order like that would probably come out to, like, $30, right, at the actual Taco Bell. When I tell you, this motherfucker Ooh. came out as $77 for just a couple things just a few things $77 I would be I could be rich I could have millions of dollars and I would never spend $77 at a Taco Bell long story short we ended up in the grand scheme of things we just ended up going down to uh, Taco Bell and getting our food instead because it's like uh, I think 30 minutes away so we just drove there because we just didn't want to deal with paying $77 and I think it was like half off the original price when we went down there but that's like really the only pricey experience I've had with DoorDash the only bad experience is that there were no meatballs on a subway so <laughs> all right well I think that's gonna be it for this video uh, all in all, I think a lot of these people are overreacting and they don't really know what they're talking about. But, I think next time, the next video, or maybe a video after the next video, I'm probably going to be reviewing another thing, maybe like DoorDash. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see me review and I'll try my best to find like a reliable website to see all the reviews. So, you guys let me know. And uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed what you saw today. Uh, let me know what you thought down in the comments below. And if you feel like it, go ahead and click that subscribe button because it's completely free. And it seriously helps me out a lot. And maybe if you feel like it, like the video as well and help spread it to more people. Uh, maybe send my videos to people that you may know, like some family members, your friends. Uh, just. If you, if you feel like it, if you feel like it, just maybe send my video to a couple people and see what they think. And uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. But all in all, really hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.